New this morning, the Adair County SB40 is providing a $24,000 grant to ATSU to help continue an elective program. The program called Community Mentors Project not only helps future doctors, but individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. KTVO's Kayla McGee has more on what this program is and how it will help better the community. When you think of communication with your doctor, it probably seems simple. You tell them what doesn't feel right, and the doctor works to try to heal whatever is ailing you. But what happens when a person with a disability tries to communicate, but doesn't know how or feel like they can? Doctor's offices or um, uh, deal with nurses or other people in the medical profession, they are not comfortable around us, which uh, is very apparent to us, which in turn makes us feel uncomfortable. And um, you know, when you go to a medical facility for any reason, the one thing that you want more than anything else is to, to be comfortable. That's one of the reasons why A.T. Still University and the Adair County SB40 are teaming up with the ATSU Community Mentors Program. The program's goal is to help teach the next generation of doctors how to communicate with individuals with disabilities giving individuals with disabilities in the community a chance to mentor a doctor. How I interact with uh, patients and also having a much better understanding of the different struggles um, that individuals of this community go through in their day to day. To help the program continue into the next year, the SB40 awarded ATSU a grant to help continue the program, which goes right back to helping mentors in the program. Our SP encounters, uh, because those those uh, individuals are um, employed by ATSU for uh, those encounters, as well as um, transportation costs and um, different resources that we need for the community mentor program. With more mentors coming into the program looking to help the doctors learn, the current mentors hope that by helping these doctors, it will help others in their situation in the future. They, uh, we're not that much different than they are, and therefore they will be able to go into this situation with the feeling of, uh, you know, hey, um, this is no big deal. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Kaylin McGee.